Getting a kidney transplant was not easy by any means. There were so many things that I had to do. Not only did I have lots of doctor's appointments, but I had lots of testing. So the purpose of a kidney transplant is to replace a damaged kidney with a working one. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about how to prepare for a kidney transplant. Yes, so you're on dialysis and you're battling every day and you're like, man, I really need a kidney. Well, there's a couple of things, instead of saying, hey, pick me for a kidney, there's a couple of things that the doctors are gonna require from you. So if you guys know someone that could benefit from these types of videos, please go ahead and share it with them. And if you're new to my channel, what's up? Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And if you've done that, welcome to the family. All right guys, let's go ahead and get started. The surgeon requested that I get counseling and with counseling, it just tells me the benefits, the expectations that they require from me. If they give me a kidney, they just wanted to know that I was mentally ready and prepared for this change in my life. The surgeon also does an evaluation on you. So basically they're gonna go over your whole family history, your mother, your grandmother, everyone in your family. They're gonna ask you some detailed questions. They wanna know who has high blood pressure, cholesterol, cancer, any disorders that may be going on, mental disorders. They wanna know every nook and cranny of your life before they approve you to receive that new kidney. I had to do lots of testing just to get on that list. I had to do a stress test, an EKG, an echocardiogram. I had to do x-rays, a few x-rays actually, CTs, ultrasounds, MRIs. I mean, they are going to scan your body from head to toe to make sure that you are qualified because they don't wanna give a new kidney to someone that is actually you know, in the process of a cancer treatment. So they wanna make sure that you're healthy enough that if they give you this kidney that you will be able to use it for many years to come and not just you know, pass away next year and now the kidney went to waste and they could have took that to somebody else they need. They're also gonna be checking your medications. What are you taking? And tell you what you should hold off for, you know, when that surgery time comes, um, what you need to take, what you don't need to take. So there's a lot of adjusting when it comes to your medications, just to make sure that you're prepared for that moment. They also take lots of blood, just in case you need a blood transfusion, you have blood there. I mean, I'm not sure if all hospitals do that. I remember giving so much blood beforehand. I mean, I'm a lupus patient, so I was already get used to getting but going through that transplant, I mean, I got tons of blood work. Every time they saw me, they were poking at me to the point where it started developing scar tissue because they were poking so many times. Once you get approved to be on the kidney transplant list, you have to wait some time. And they tell you, make sure you have your phone charged at all times because once they call you and say, hey, it's your time, you only have a certain amount of time to get to the hospital. So make sure you have your bags packed, everything by the door, just in case. So put it in your car, actually. That might help you get to the hospital a lot faster. You don't wanna miss that opportunity and then your kidney goes to someone else. But they do give you a certain time frame where you need to get to the hospital. The big day is the surgery day. So there are things that you need to do to prepare yourself for that and I do speak about it in detail in my kidney vlog video. So you guys can go ahead and watch that video. But the day of the surgery, just as a quick little recap, just to remind you that you're gonna need a driver, you're gonna need someone to be there with you through this process. And that's most likely the person that has gone through the process with you. When it comes to the night before the surgery, there are a couple of things that they're gonna want you to do. First of all, you're not supposed to eat and drink at all. This is a major surgery and you're gonna have anesthesia, so they wanna make sure that you don't have anything in your system. So make sure you don't eat or drink anything at all. They're going to give you a soap, a disinfectant soap, so you can clean your body thoroughly the night before. You're gonna bathe with this soap, you're gonna put it throughout your whole body, you're gonna rinse it off. You're not supposed to put any lotions, no perfumes, no creams, nothing on after you're done with that. And you make sure you go to bed with fresh washed clothes. That was a big requirement. They wanted everything, the linens on your bed to be clean. They wanted everything to be sterile and clean. Now we get to the morning of the surgery. Oh, it's such a nerve wracking day. It is a beautiful day. You wake up at the crack of dawn. I think I woke up at four o'clock in the morning and you guys can see that in my kidney vlog video. I got up, I had to take another shower with that disinfectant soap, no lotions, nothing, freshly washed clothes. Um, so we got up that morning, we, took our shower, we got dressed, we didn't eat anything as they requested, and uh, my family came. 
So my brother was my donor, as you guys know. So my dad and my brother and my husband and I and his girlfriend. So we all went to the hospital that day. Um, we had to bring in our consent forms that we had to sign, just saying we give permission for the doctor to operate on us. And then at that time, they took me in a room, they took him in a room, and we just sat there and waited until it was our turn. The doctor will come in, ask if you have any last minute questions, just to reassure you, make you feel comfortable, introduce you to the team who will be operating on you. It was a great feeling. At my hospital, they were amazing. They took really good care of me. I could not complain at all. Once it was my turn to go ahead, you know, they put me on a stretcher, they took me to the room, the anesthesiologist came out, connected me, you know, spoke to me, asked me any questions, you know, just to make sure I'm not allergic to anything, but they did that previously, but she also did it again. And so she put me out and that's all I remember. I remember fading away slowly. And then when I woke up, they're like, yeah, you got a kidney, it was successful. I was so happy and I did have to use the bathroom, but the good thing is that they placed a catheter up inside of me. So if I had to pee, it just automatically just peed. It was so weird. But I just peed and it went into this little bag and they were able to track how much urine I was producing. And you guys saw my video, I was producing tons and tons of urine. So there were certain things that we really needed to do to prepare ourselves for this kidney transplant. I think it's really important that, you know, those that are getting ready to go through that journey, that you do as much research and you ask as much questions as possible. When I say this completely changed my life, I, com I mean it guys, it completely changed my life. All for the good though. You also just wanna make sure that that person who's gonna be your person through this process is stable and they understand what's going on because it's an emotional roller coaster because they're gonna be taking care of you as well as you know your children if you have kids. So just make sure that that person is up and ready for this challenge. It took me, I would say about maybe three months for me to get on my feet 100%, but there was just so much stuff that I felt like you guys needed to know what it was like going through this process. Like I said, the biggest thing was just going to all the doctor's appointments and getting the testing done. They also even had me do a pap smear. They had me get my teeth worked on, make sure it's clean. Just so much little tedious things that needed to be done. And I had a checklist and so I would just check off my checklist. So you have a kidney coordinator. So that person will call you, check on you, make sure that you're doing necessary steps to get that kidney as fast as possible. I told them I wasn't playing, I want this kidney now. So what do I have to do? I have a donor. He's ready, I'm ready, and they're like, all right, just accomplish everything on this list and let's schedule a date. And so we scheduled the date. My brother actually scheduled the date. They wouldn't let me schedule it. They go off of the donor's time because you know they have to be respectful of that. I'm here begging, so beggars can't be choosers at this point. So if you guys have any questions on the transplant process, please drop it in the comments below and let me know. And I will be happy to explain it to you. Like I said, it may not have been easy, but I got here. And if I got here, you can get here. All right guys, so thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I wanna let you know I love and appreciate you. All right guys, see you in the next video. Getting a kidney transplant was not easy. Oh, oh shit. Gio? Yeah. So once you get approved for the, so once, once you get approved for the new, the big day of, so you make sure you, you have your bag. Oh God, Gio, yes? Okay, scratch all of that, we need to go back. Night before this Oh, okay. Okay, I'm coming, honey, hold on. Okay, no, I don't like that. In today's, in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about how to, in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about how to prepare for a kidney transplant. Getting a kidney transplant is not as easy as you think. Many think all they have to do is say, hey, I need a kidney transplant, but it doesn't work like that. 